Welcome to this video. Are you interested in why your vehicle diagnosis displays B19350B? How is the error code interpreted by the vehicle? What does B19350B mean, or how to correct this fault? Today we will find answers to these questions together. Let's do this. First, let's look at the history of diagnostic fault code composition according to the OBD2 protocol, which is unified for all automakers since 2000. We divide the electric system of automobile into the four basic units. Powertrain. Body. Chasis. Network. This distribution is defined in the first character code. If the second character is expressed as zero, it is a standardized error. In the case of numbers 1, 2, 3 it is a more prestigious expression of the car-specific error. The third character specifies a subset of errors. The distribution shown is valid only for the standardized DTC code. Only the last two characters define the specific fault of the group. The add-on to the error code serves to specify the status in more detail. For example, a short to the ground. Let's not forget that such a division is valid only if the other character code is expressed by the number zero. Our website airbagreset.sk produces useful videos for you. You do not have to go through the OBD2 protocol anymore to know how to troubleshoot any car breakdown. You will find all the diagnostic codes that can be diagnosed in a Saturn vehicles. Also many other useful things. The following demonstration will help you look into the world of software for car control units. You unbelievably can move the video a bit further. The error code is split into two bytes consisting of 16 bits. One bit is the basic unit that each computer works with. The bit has two logical states. 0, low level. 1, high level. By combining the first two bits, the basic character of the error code is expressed. The next two beats again determine the second character. The last beat styles of the first byte define the third character of the code. The second byte is composed of a combination of eight bits. The first four bits determine the fourth character of the code. And the combination of the last four bits defines the fifth character. A single byte conceals 256 possible combinations. We now know in what way the diagnostic tool translates the received information into a more comprehensible format. The number itself does not make sense to us if we cannot assign information about it to what it actually expresses. So, what does the diagnostic trouble code B19350B interpret specifically Saturn car manufacturers? The basic definition is Lost communication between fuel pump control module B and restraints control module. And now this is a short description of this DTC code. The fuel pump control module 2 monitors the duty cycle and frequency of the signal it receives from the restraints control module RCM. The fuel pump control module 2 determines if the signal on the event notification signal ENS circuit from the RCM is a valid duty cycle and frequency. If the duty cycle or frequency is invalid, the fuel pump control module 2 sends a 40% duty cycle signal on the fuel pump monitor to FPM2 circuit to report the concern to the PCM the test fails when the fuel pump control module 2 is still reporting that it is receiving an invalid duty cycle or frequency from the RCM after a calibrated amount of time. This diagnostic error occurs most often in these cases. ENS circuit open or short to ground ENS circuit short to voltage radio frequency interference or electromagnetic interference damaged fuel pump control module 2 damaged RCM check the harness for routing, alterations, incorrect shielding, or electrical interference from other systems the ENS is used to notify the fuel pump control module 2 of an event requiring the fuel pump to be disabled this signal is used instead of an inertia fuel shutoff if switch the fuel pump control module 2 monitor the ENS signal by sending a 12 volts low current signal on the ENS circuit to the RCM. The Airbag Reset website aims to provide information in 52 languages. 
Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.